Welcome to the history of the Disney parks. This episode, we're looking back at Disneyland's first roller coaster, the Matterhorn Bobsleds. In 1959, Walt and his Imagineers embarked on Disneyland's first major expansion, which would literally take the park to new heights. Holiday Hill was just a pile of dirt left over from when construction crews dug the moat around Sleeping Beauty's castle. To make it look more appealing to guests, the Imagineers planted grass and added a few park benches. It was dubbed Lookout Mountain. By 1957, Walt had made the decision to bulldoze Lookout Mountain and build a man-made attraction in its place originally called Snow Mountain. In 1958, Walt was filming a movie called Third Man on the Mountain, a coming-of-age adventure filmed in Switzerland. When Walt saw the Matterhorn for the first time, he immediately sent his Imagineers a postcard of the mountain with two words written on the back, Build This. Since the Imagineers never built anything on this scale before, they turned to building models of the attraction first. Walt hired Arrow Development, a small company at the time, which built some other Disneyland attractions, to help out on the project. Arrow and the Imagineers came up with a ride system that contained two tracks that would weave in and out of each other's paths as they snaked down and around the mountain. The Matterhorn is composed of 2,175 steel girders. With the steel structure completed, the construction team added a layer of plywood that would both shape and support the fake rock work. The mountain was being built from the top down, so no cement would be dropped on the finished mountain below. In total, the Matterhorn used 500 tons of steel and concrete. The attraction was built for a final cost of 1.5 million, an expensive addition even by the 1959 standards. On June 14, 1959, Vice President Nixon was on hand to open and dedicate the Matterhorn bobsleds as well as the submarine voyage and the Disneyland monorail system. The Matterhorn was an instant hit and quickly became one of the park's most popular attractions. In 1978, the Matterhorn received its first major refurbishment. New bobsleds were added and greatly increased the capacity of the attraction. But perhaps the biggest addition to the Matterhorn was a mysterious lurking snow monster, more commonly known as Harold. Harold was crafted by veteran Imagineer Blaine Gibson. A total of three snowmen were built for the attraction. One for the Fantasyland side, one for the Tomorrowland side, and the third figure would be visible by both the tracks. There have been a number of other changes to the attraction since 1978. In 1994, the Skyway sent its last car gliding through, and the Passway was soon sailed up shortly after. The Matterhorn received new bobsleds once again in 2012. In 2015, Disneyland celebrated its 60th anniversary. With new additions being added all around the park, the Matterhorn got some new upgrades as well. Harold has been reimagined and now lunges out at guests as they zip by. Projection mapping has been added to the lift hill section of the ride. 
A newly imagined scene pays tribute to the Skyway in the old-style bobsleds, giving a nod to the attraction's history. The Matterhorn is perhaps one of the most famous and iconic Disney mountains ever created and paved the path for all the other mountain attractions to come. <laughs>